Yo, what is up guys? So we're gonna be looking at the Dead Space remake video. I haven't seen anything of this aside from like the last portion, which is probably I've already ruined it for myself. But bro, let me tell you, let me tell you, I am super fucking excited that Dead Space is getting a remake because if any game, if, if there is any game that is like worthy of getting a remake, it is Dead Space. Dead Space, bro, there's nothing in this world that's making me more hype than Dead Space Remake. I am definitely fucking pre-ordering this shit. I, mm, let me be, let me be clear. If I see some fuckery happen in Dead Space Remake, I will definitely fuck off because <clears throat> I'm not about that. But please, EA. God damn it, this one time, don't fuck it up, please. Cause Dead Space is such a, okay, let's talk, let's, let's, let's just go. Oh my god, yes, fucking yes, bro. We need more of this shit, bro. What is this? ...of Isaac's journey aboard the classic while injecting some new life into it and the team's unique approach to involving fans oh. in the game's development. Wait, Frost, Frostbite Engine? That's gonna be mad different. Bro, it's gonna be so different. Oh my god. Uh. <clears throat> the foundation on which we're starting is that we are rebuilding completely the game that's in, in Frostbite, in the new engine. So the original game was made in a really uh, old engine. So we have all the original assets. So for example, as a, as level design, the foundation currently of the game on which now we are reiterating it's we started with the original level design collisions of the, uh, the original let's face and what's funny in that actually is that you can see also some of the iterations that were made prior to ship by the team like in the first chapter you can see some corridors that they wanted to do first in a certain way and then you can understand why they change it for technical constraint or, or other things so we also have that type of history in the in the data that is really interesting but then in terms of visual sound gameplay everything we are rebuilding all of those uh, those assets we are not porting them it's not appraising the texture or adding more faces uh, more polygons to uh, to the model it's really uh, rebuilding all those elements shooting uh, all the animations uh, etc <coughs> and then there are a couple of elements on which we want to uh, to iterate and try to add uh, improvements uh, to it whether it's on the horror on the or on the immersion or even on the gameplay there are elements that we don't want to change the experience. We really want to stay true to that experience and that's why we've, we, we've started to work with some passionate people in the community to make sure that we still nail that experience, that it's dead space. With stuff like with the really fast SSDs that we have currently with the new generation, <laughs> that's probably really interesting things that uh, we can do in terms of uh, uh, creating a more immersive uh, Ishimura or other elements like, uh, for example, taking inspiration in what comes after what they did, let's say, on Dead Space 2 with the zero gravity and how you move around in zero gravity compared to Dead Space 1. That's definitely something that is really interesting to us and that we are playing with and 
that's how we are approaching changes to the original is through the lens of those improvements we want to make. Well, clearly, next generations of console en enable us to have uh, ray trace um, reflection in the volumetric, volumetric effects or even fluid simulation for these, vol for these effects. 3D audio with understanding um, where the sound comes from, having the right propagation in the corridors, making it come from the vents above you or behind you, these are all things that we'll be able to expand on to increase, again, on the level of immersion and make sure that, yeah, like Roman said, the, the Ishumar is alive. It's, uh, it, it's dying, but it's still alive and it has a voice. And throughout your journey um, over the, the, the chapters of the game, you hear it progress. And that's the type of, uh, of um, evolution that we want to make sure um, that the players notice when they play the game. One thing for me that is really iconic <clears throat> of Dead Space, it's often, at least at the beginning of the game, when they are playing a little bit with your senses, you get that whisper in your ear. Uh, that is constant. And that's pretty creepy and scary in the game. <laughs> that's pretty this. creepy and scary. Yeah, no shit, bro. Uh, imagine this in VR. I would probably shit myself. Bro, it isn't... So, like, I really hope... And I know it's not going to happen, but I really hope they add VR functionality into this or first person shooter functionality into it because they've done it already. Kind of. They made a rail gun shooter from Dead Space uh, called Dead Space Liber, not Liberation. It was some, I, I'll have it in the screen right now, but I don't remember off the top of my head, but it was super dope. It was super dope. I loved it a lot. I would love to see me playing the game as isaac while holding the gun like literally like first person i would lose my complete shit not gonna lie i feel like personally first person shooters just add a level immersion that other games really can't so for me i'm already in like this is already dope but if you can give me first person and or vr functionality i'm completely i'm i'm <gasps> that would be good the current 3d audio <clears throat> technologies oh you will be constantly like what the f it's that <laughs> Everything that you're gonna see in the world, every UI element, uh, every earth, everything is diegetic and it's presented from the perspective of Isaac. We want to make that uh, immersion even deeper with a fully uninterrupted uh, experience from the start screen to the end credits. We don't want anything to pull, you out, to pull you out of the experience and we don't want any cut. And so that's something that we're using like when i was speaking about uh, faster ssds and this kind of thing it's there's not gonna be any loading there's not gonna be any moment where we're gonna cut your experience where we're gonna cut your camera it's you can play it from the start screen to the end credits uh, seamlessly as an objective <clears throat> that we gave early on to everyone what we're trying to achieve is a level of immersion where you never want to put your controller down like that space is not a 60 100 hour game like ideal scenario you don't actually want to get up to go to the bathroom because you're so immersed within the universe and, and you want to play it through in one sit down for us what is important the the foundation is the, the it's dead space one story so yeah. by default that's what it is uh, is canon but then there are some improvements that uh, that we want to make <laughs> to that uh, to that story, and not necessarily improvements because those things were not really working in the original. More improvements because of what came after, and we're like, oh man, that's interesting. If we could be refer referencing that, or if we could make a link to that, that doesn't feel like they tried to retrofit it after a while. So we're doing it from an. All I ask <clears throat> is if you do touch the story, which you probably believe you will, is just make three not a thing. Don't don't make three a thing. Uh, I'm okay with every other game being like uh, canon. Three, however, is complete dog shit. I hated three. Uh, two, you have to, bro. You have to make two. Two has to be a thing, but 
Three, y'all can skip that one. That one was dog shit. Yeah, I wouldn't get up to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I wouldn't either, bro. It's just like the way they explain it is super dope. And I heard this standpoint, but we're also <laughs> there looking is a at it there, from a feature standpoint and the improvements um, and some of the uh, of the content that were that evolved throughout the franchise. Um, so we're looking at what can be taken and like re-injected within the first game from a feature standpoint. We're also learning from mistakes such as microtransactions, which we will not have, for instance, in our game. On the on the combat, well, of course, with the new technologies <clears throat> that we have, we will make the dismemberment evolve a little bit, and not only to uh, to make it more gory, but maybe to have uh, some kind of uh, evolve mechanics around it. But does it still feel like that space? Does the combat feel tense like that space? Do you still feel like yeah, every every round counts? when you're getting to uh, after a couple of hours yeah, of yeah. Thing. that was a big thing in that was a big thing in dead space the fact that like every every shot mattered like and it wasn't like oh you you wasted this ammo you're dead it was more like it's gonna get harder now because the cool thing about the game is it did, it did give you ways to fight the enemies even if you didn't have ammo it would be hard and you would get hurt a lot but they give you they like gave you like punching stomping so like originally you would shoot their legs and the, the smart player would stomp the shit out of them until they died that way you you wouldn't waste ammo um very interested to see if they add any different mechanics to the fighting like maybe you get a dodge or maybe not a dodge Where did you get i don't remember but like maybe you get a dodge maybe you get like a block maybe you get other stuff uh the combat in dead space one it's 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 old it rightfully so the game came out ages ago but i would love it if they if they changed the combat to a point where it made sense not only that uh again i personally would love it if it was just first person in there like just as like an add-on i i'm not asking for like oh the game has to be first person all the time <clears throat> i would love it if it was kind of like interchangeable kind of like in a fallout fallout you can change from first person to third person just from changing it or if it'd be even cooler if you could change change it like when you're starting a new game like oh a new game what difficulty uh first person or third person i would love that i feel like dead space would benefit so much from a first person uh camera just saying <clears throat> for us uh, we don't want to be in siloed and create our own bubble of the game we're making um so so uh, from the conception we've linked uh we, we've reached out to members of the community uh, to create a community council to be some sort of sounding board for what we were making making sure that if we're deciding to make a change we want to be able to explain it and, and get told <clears throat> if like no 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 what, what are you what are you doing what are you thinking you're, you're actually breaking the game why are you changing this and, and we've received some extremely valid feedback from that group we're trying to meet with them on a every two three weeks basis to show them content and have that ongoing discussion um, and they've had access unfiltered access to um, what we're making from a very early point in, in, uh, in production which is uh, I think something that was <clears throat> never done at EA was making some people uncomfortable at first making us uncomfortable uh, but that's proven extremely valuable uh, that's super and, important and no yeah, yeah I think that for for a game like us which is a lot of people consider it a cult classic I surely do uh, this game is a cult classic this game is so good it's I'm very happy that they're treating this as like with so much uh, ca caution. No, not caution. <clears throat> like the fact that they're bringing people in from the community that know like, oh, if we've, we've played all the games, we know the lore, we know this and that. Like the fact that they're bringing people in that know that level of dead space intimately and actually collaborating with them to a point where like oh we've done this is this okay and obviously those people have like uh contracts with them like oh you can't talk about this stuff but like the fact that they're like oh yeah like this is look looking good or this is looking bad this is like not 
in not in the spirit of dead space or whatever i i'm happy they're doing that there is a little side of me that's just kind of like you could literally be lying to me and just trying to make like get good stuff out of me like oh this is good points and whatnot i would love to see this council like that'd be cool but at the end of the day like i'm i'm excited I, I'm, I'm acting like the video's over hold on let's we're making it, it we can't break it so we need to make sure that we have that that conscious that works with <clears> us <throat> that gives us those uh, those cues when we're playing with something and like oh you know what maybe maybe be careful about this for 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 xyz reason What's really cool, it's first you discover things that otherwise you might have discovered reading uh, re Reddit uh, two weeks uh, after launching the game. And you're like, oh man, I wish I knew that. Uh, <laughs> so that's super useful. But also, it's really ener energizing for uh, for the team and for the, for the people and even for us. Because when you show <laughs> something and you get feedback and good reactions on what you're doing, it gives you that the energy to go like man okay that's cool let's let's keep pushing that uh the nerds they are talking to could just be the youtube comments for all we know exactly like i i don't want to come across like oh like you guys are lying to me like they very much can be lying or cannot be lying the thing is like it's it, for one, it's EA, so I am immediately like, uh, EA, uh, like you did destroy the fucking comp, uh, the the devs that made this fucking game, so I'm like kind of like hesitant. <clears throat> Not only that, like, I'm just I'm just jaded at this point. Like, gaming companies have just always tried to say nice shit about a game only to then fuck it up. The thing is that the thing that kind of scares me about this game in particular is it. It could either go the the side of uh, Resident Evil 2 remake, which everyone is saying is the best remake we've ever had, and I com com completely agree. Although I haven't played the original, so maybe my opinion is not that valid. But it could also go in the way of Dark of Resident Evil 3 remake, which I think was disappointing because we lost a lot of content from that game, and it was not even it wasn't even resident evil 3 at that point there were so many things that were completely different that and we didn't get everything that i kind of wanted like resident evil 2 got so much cool shit and more i mean obviously it cut a lot of stuff as well but like compare that game to like resident evil 3 resident evil 3 is just such a short game compared to that so that's where my fear lies is this gonna be a good re remake where it's like fuck this is probably better than the original. Or is it going to be like uh, Resident Evil 3 where it was like, it exists. Like, it's cool to have it. It just, it is not like, it's not a good remake. <clears throat> uh, I don't understand why y'all keep talking about RE3 remake like the original was in, in any ways different. RE3, the, the original was shorter. No, it was not. No. No, like there was so much more stuff. Uh, there's also locations that got cut out. Uh, I personally didn't like Resident Evil 3 because of that, because it took a lot of the what Resident Evil 3 was away. So that's why I'm not a big fan of it. Um, not saying it's a bad remake. It's just when you look at Resident Evil 2 and then look at Resident Evil 3, you're just like, what happened? Like even Resident Evil 2 like there's a lot of stuff that they cut out and people are like they cut out a lot of stuff but it's like but it's still a fucking dope remake though Resident Evil 2 is such a dope remake so I don't know that's where my head lies in. I hope they bring what that fucker back it's we are remaking the survival or classic game and that's something that's is really important for us and that's also why we're working with the community on this one. So much of the original Dead, Ca Dead Space was on the highs and lows, managing that curve of tension, managing mm -hmm. like the, I'm not sure I want to turn that corner because I don't know what's going to happen and those surprises. So um, that's something that as a message to the team and a focus for, for our group uh, is essential, making sure that we get the right pacing um, to avoid going too much in a direction of action uh, and, and get that scavenger loop and that slow pace. I need to make sure that every bullet counts when I when I when I play. Yep. 
<coughs> I've always been a fan of that genre, and I'm also a big fan of sci-fi, and that's why I really loved Dead Space. It's yeah. because it had that unique mix of sci-fi, horror, gore, etc. And I was like really sucked into it, and. I've never had before the opportunity to work on a, on a survival horror game. And when I had the discussion with uh, the people at Motive, uh, they had me with two worlds, Dead Space. And I was like, yes, no, no, stop. You can stop here. I mean, um, <laughs> whatever. I'm, I'm, I want to be there. <clears throat> it's really um, kind of a love letter to fans that we want to write uh, with this game. Um, and, and we're part of those fans so so the passion that we have in making it uh i hope it translates into uh the results of what we're seeing now and all the things that we'll be showing uh, in the future there's plenty more to learn about the dead space remake so be sure to head over to ign for even more from phil and roman on the remake's creation and be sure to check out the full reveal trailer. <coughs> and for everything else happening aboard the Ishimura, you're already in the right place, IGN. Bro, like there's just so many things they could do with this remake. Um, I really hope this remake brings back Dead Space because I feel like Dead Space, Dead Space had the opportunity to become like a Resident Evil type game where it's like just continually going on and like expanding the universe because the universe is super fucking crazy. Um, when you start learning about the uh, the enemies, I forget the like the name off the top of my head, and the like the uh, the obelisk, you're just like, what the fuck? It's so wild. You know what? You know what? We're gonna have a Dead Space, uh, not renewal, like kind of like a we play through the old games and just kind of like relive them because. Dead Space is just that much of a hitter of a game. Like, Dead Space 1, dope. Dead Space 2, even doper. Dead Space 3, is caca, but we're gonna play it. And then uh, Dead Space Evacuation, I think it was called, or something like that. It was with an E. We're gonna play that as well. We're gonna try to find all the Dead Space that were made because, again, this series, this, this franchise deserved so much more. We got a good game, a good starting game too then an even better sequel and then the shittiest shittiest third game i'm not even kidding dude shit was bad uh but like at that point like before the third game came out we had so many other stuff we had a movie that came out for that for that uh for that game which was super cool uh <clears throat> evacuation i think it's called uh where it was like a, a railgun shooter which was super cool which tied into Dead Space 2, which was super cool. Like, there's just so much about Dead Space that I'm so happy that hopefully they're bringing it back from the dead. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'll link to in the description below. This was captured in my stream in twitch.tv slash fixtony. So if you are ever curious, hop in. We have a lot of fun and disagree about a lot of shit. Like, RE3 was definitely not shorter, but whatever. Uh... But yeah, I thank you all for coming up to this point and I'll see you guys later.